so today I'm gonna to be showing you how I color correct and conceal my melasma if you're not sure what melasma is it's basically like a darkening of the skin or discoloration of the skin from the Sun and there are several reasons that this can happen um, one of them is just age another one is hormones um, that's why you kind of see a lot of the pregnancy mask it's because of the hormones in your skin it um, creates a pigment in your skin that the Sun darkens mine is caused from from taking birth control pills the hormones in that cause my skin to darken in some areas um, if I don't wear sunscreen it is really bad I get it mostly on my forehead if I don't wear sunscreen like I don't know how I've gotten away with not getting like that dark mustache that usually happens to me every summer but if I keep my skin um, protected then I don't get it as bad but I still do get it um, so I'm going to show you how I color correct and conceal that um, my melasma is not that bad it does cause like some confidence issues like I notice that I'm always like thinking about it when people are looking at me like are they looking at my forehead or um, it just kind of makes me feel a little bit self-conscious so um, I'm going to be showing you what I've been doing color correcting is probably the best way to deal with it um, if you try to conceal it like it just conceals it a little bit but you can still see through it unless you have like an amazing concealer um, but this is the way that I try to deal with it and what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to kind of darken up the skin so that it's all kind of that color because if I conceal then you just it's still darker in some places so um, I have a couple different color correcting palettes these ones are for makeup forever but a ton of makeup companies make these so you can find these all over the place and I'm gonna be using this it's just the camouflage cream in number three so I'm looking at the shade right here my melasma kind of has like a greenish brown tint to it so I'm gonna go in with this like greenish shade right here I'm gonna be using a concealer brush this is sort of a bigger concealer brush but I want to cover a bigger area so I'm just gonna take that greenish brown shade and I'm just gonna tap it on to the areas that have that pigmentation And after I get this all applied to these darker areas, I'm going to go in with another corrector that's like a peachy shade. Honestly, I, I know that like your skin isn't perfect and you shouldn't hide every blemish and flaw because it's natural, but um, a little bit of coverage for me, I feel does a job. I don't necessarily feel like I need to cover absolutely everything because skin is skin you're gonna have some imperfections and we're not perfect so um, I just like to do a little bit of correcting do the same thing over here if you have darker skin or lighter skin you're gonna have to adjust your shades also so you might need like a darker shade for this if you have darker skin and of course a lighter shade for lighter skin but as you can see actually I should zoom in can see it a little bit better I do not know how this color is gonna come out because this is the first time I'm using this camera um, I just got it yesterday so I've just been playing with it a little bit and the color looks a little bit light when I'm looking in the viewfinder so I'm hoping that it's gonna translate okay I haven't messed with the settings too much. They're basically at factory settings. Okay. I also get a lot of redness right here around my nose. So I think I'm going to try to correct that a little bit also while I'm here. And this one is the 
um, number five camouflage cream palette. I'm just going to take that green shade. Might as well while I'm here. And after I get this blended in, before I go in with a lighter shade, I'm going to use a beauty blender or sponge. And make sure it's blended into the skin. I get really red on my chin also. Just use my finger, I guess. And I think I'm going to brighten and go in with this lavender shade. And I'm just going to brighten the center of my face. These steps you do not have to do. I'm just playing around since I have these palettes handy. It's pretty crazy. Looks crazy. It's not going to look like that when I'm done. So now I'm just going to take a sponge and just make sure that's really blended in nicely. I'm actually going to go in with that green again and a small brush and just get some of these blemishes. I kind of actually like the look of freckles, like the faux freckles that people that I've seen people do. They're so cute. I think it's really pretty. I think freckles are really, really pretty. I honestly wish that I do get freckles, but I wish I got them here instead of getting them up here. Okay, now I'm going to take Benefits Erase Paste. This is in the shade two, and it's kind of just a peachy shade, peachy pink. Um, with my skin tone, I feel like it does better with like a pinkier peach, but if you have darker, you're going to want like an orangier peach. So... I'm just going to tap that on. I'm just using the other side of the brush. And I'm just going to go over those same areas that I went over with the brownish green shade. That way you start off with the same shade and then you're brightening that whole shade together if that makes sense because I feel like if you just try to conceal and not correct the problem then you're gonna still have the same problem it's just gonna be a little bit lighter might as well use this as my under eye corrector while I'm here Okay, now I'm just going to take my sponge and tap it in. And you don't want to be able to see the different shades. I mean, you will just a little bit, but the point is to like blend it out so that you can't see it. So that it really gets blended in like with your skin. Okay, so I think that's pretty well blended. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my regular foundation. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I love this for like my everyday foundation right now. I switch back and forth between this and the Estee Lauder Double Wear. The Estee Lauder Double Wear is like really good coverage. Um, this is just, I feel like this is just a little bit lighter than that, although it still is full coverage. But I just switch back and forth. I like them both for different reasons, but um, this is 
Mac Studio Fix Fluid in NC15, I think. So it's a little bit more yellow toned, which I feel like also helps with kind of color correcting my skin because my skin, if you look at the rest of my body, I have like a yellow tone to it. It's like a warmer tone, but for my face, it's always, I feel like it's, I always have redness. So it kind of corrects that. And another thing too is when I apply other products to my face, I feel like anything that I do just takes the product away. So I have to be really careful when I apply like my blush and contour and all of that. I want to make sure just to really pat everything in and not like sweep it away with my makeup brushes. So that did a pretty good job I feel like covering all of that. Bring it down onto my neck, of course. And I love using the MAC um, Studio, not Studio, Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. And I just take whatever, I just take my Beauty Blender what, that I just used and I tap it onto my skin. I don't rub, I just tap. The moisture from the sponge just makes everything kind of melt or meld together. I just really don't want to go over those areas too much because it will take the product away. So I'm going to let that dry for just a couple of minutes. So I finished up with the rest of my makeup so that you can see the final look and um, one thing that I want to suggest is that you just be super careful when applying the rest of your makeup. Um, even contouring, if you wanted to use like a darker foundation and use a sponge that would be really good because um, when you get like powders applied to your skin and you're blending everything, you're just taking away a lot of the product also by blending it in, which is unfortunate because you want to blend in your products, but just be very careful. Um, use a sponge with your powders, even with your contour, you can use your sponge to kind of um, put that on. Um, if you do want to see this look, I do have another video I will link it down below so you can see how to how I did the rest of my makeup and this eye look. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.